the, uh, the Freescale product, the quick start board. Um, Cortex A9, exactly like the Panda board here, and uh, booting live in front of you is, uh, is Android. So we support Android on all our boards. Uh, various stage of enablement, but uh, definitely that we are uh, working very hard to bring up them all up to the same level. So again, quick start board. Uh, Android just came up. This is Android uh, 235. We have the, the, the classic offering, which is running out of uh, MMC card. The HDMI module is not populated. Um, so we use strictly VGA right now. So this board, very cool. We have like a host USB port, an RJ49 here, uh, sound port on the side, and um, fairly well supported on Ubuntu. Um, definitely getting there on, um, on the Android side. We are working on getting uh, accelerated graphic uh, working right now. This is the stage that we're at right now. Uh, our friend Barrow is, uh, is responsible to uh, uh, to make this board great in the Android team. So all the kudos for him to pull this together. <laughs> On the side here, we have the, uh, the Snowball product, which is built by uh, Kalao System in partnership with uh, ST Ericsson, as well a Cortex A9, uh, dual core. We have uh, host USB, uh, an RJ45 sound, um, built-in HDMI, pretty cool. Uh, 3D capabilities in the chip, not enabled on the board. Uh, we have extension slot, MMC card. Uh, very nice. This is running the Ubuntu desktop, just for a change. Um, we have Wi-Fi going, uh, all integrated. And on this card, we still have to have uh, multimedia and um, miscellaneous devices like accelerometer and gyro uh, and GPS on it as well. So a lot of work has gone in this, this card lately. Um, I'd say as of this summer we didn't even have that. So this was a fair amount of progress as well.